Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Um, I apologise if it's a bit, bit, yeah, start again. It's a bit disjointed because I'm sort of making this up as I go along. Um, basically, what I'm going to try and do is show you how I am using FreeStyler, the free uh, DMX control software, uh, in conjunction with Ableton Live, uh, so, and, by, and then using MIDI notes such as these to tell my lights when to turn on and off. I've been scouring YouTube to see if there's any videos that would have helped me to do this. I couldn't find any, so I thought I'll do one. Um, because this is something I've wanted to try and sort out for a while. And I've been trying to get an inexpensive way of doing it. I saw a, a tutorial video a while ago that used DMXs, um, which I found quite expensive. I think, they're, I don't know, between 150 and 200 pounds, something like that. Which... Um, I just wanted a, a cheap way of doing this. So this is sort of one solution that I will try and explain. So I'm going to assume that you know a bit about DMX already. I'm not going to go into detail about addressing lights and so on. Um, basically what I've got at the moment is I'm using Freestyle. I've got three fixtures, but I'm only using two today. Uh, I've got the Cam Moon Glow, which is my first uh, fixture. My second feature is the cam party bar, which I'm not using. And then I've just got this cheap kind of generic um, par cam. It was about a tenner off eBay, which is my third fixture. Um, very briefly, just on the addressing. So uh, the cam has got seven channels. So you can see there are the seven channels down there. Um, so that would be channel one to seven. The par cam has 15. So that takes up, uh, up to, I think, 22. And then I've got the cheap park out at the end addressed I think that starts on channel 23 and so on um, right so let me just get rid of that right so let's start off in freestyler we're gonna go into setup and I'm gonna assume you've got some fixtures in there already um, and I'm going to go to Freestyler Setup. Down here, we're going to go to MIDI Control. Now, if you're on a Mac, I don't think you need to do this step because I think Mac has inbuilt MIDI functions. On a PC, it doesn't. You need this little thing here called Loop B Internal MIDI. Okay, so it's from www.nerds.de. It's a free little plugin um, that kind of loops. I don't exactly know exactly what it does, but it loops MIDI internally within uh, your computer. Um, once you've got that installed within Ableton Live, you want to go to your preferences and then on your MIDI, and it should appear in here as an input loop in MIDI internal. I just got basically, uh, I just turn all of these on and it seems to work that way. So you want to turn the input and the output. Uh, actually, I've not got sync on there. Probably just track and remote seems to work. Then when you've got that installed back in Freestyler, you want to make sure on this drop down list here, you will have loads of different. These are all my MIDI things it's picking up. Um, when you first do it, it might be like this. OK, so you want to pick up loop B internal MIDI uh, for your input and then choose it for the output. And then you've got to make sure you click start. Otherwise, it won't pick up um, the MIDI. So then the setup within Ableton, what I've got here is just a basic MIDI track. And all I'm doing is my MIDI out, just here. Okay, you choose where it says MIDI 2 in this bit here. We're going to choose loop B internal MIDI, and then we're going to send it out on channel 1. Um, not sure what you've done on Mac, because as I say, I'm using a PC, but I know Macs apparently have some inbuilt thing that will do the same, the same thing, basically. So what I'm basically was trying to do is to get my lights to flash with certain beats so I can program MIDI notes here to tell them when to turn on and off. Um, so the track I was going to just do it with is The Days My Enemy by Prodigy. I've got to be careful not to play too much of it at one time otherwise uh, YouTube will probably take it down for copyright. But if just have a listen to this first bit. Okay so I wanted my lights to flash in time uh, with those drums. 
so this is how I do it now occasionally you get this weird MIDI feedback thing on here and sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't well, I'm not sure why but anyway um, so when we are in our MIDI setup in here we've got all of these functions now there are literally hundreds of functions that we can send MIDI notes to there's all of these and to be quite honest with you I haven't got a clue what half of them do I've only been using freestyler for less than a week um, and it's been quite a steep learning curve and it's been quite frustrating because there's very little user manuals out there. I know there is a, a, a thing online that kind of go through through stuff. There's a freestyler wiki, um, but it's not the best in the world, if I'm being honest. So uh, it's just a case of playing with stuff and working it out. Um, at the moment, I've not worked out how to um, change kind of lights intensity. It's basically just at the moment, it's a simple note on and off just to turn the lights on and off to flash. Um, and I've got a couple of bits mapped at the moment. I've got my next gobo and my next color mapped. Um, and then down here, we get a MIDI to DMX section, which I'll go over this bit here. Okay, which I'll go over in a second. So what we need to do is address or assign MIDI notes to any of these sequences so the first thing I was going to do is just get it just to randomly change to the next color on this bit here so I'm just going to clear this out for now just that one and the easiest way I found to do this within Ableton is to have it actually in um, in this view and then I think on here I've just got a note on on C3 so I'm just going to mute the track and if I just loop that round and round over in Freestyler, you can see it's kind of going crazy here. Um, let me just get rid of that again. It's going completely crazy for some reason. Uh, just bear with me. Why is it doing that? Right, I'm getting a load of MIDI feedback. So let's try that one more. Okay, still going crazy. Right. Just give me a second, let's investigate why, and I will be back with you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so I think I've solved the problem. Um, it's to do with MIDI feedback. Um, and I believe it's because we don't need the inputs turned on in here. So, Loopy, your input. Just turn that off. It seems to have solved the problem for now. Uh, and then keep your outputs. Where are we here? Uh, turned on obviously so it's outputting today. I think it was looping back in for some reason um, okay so let's just go over this this bit again because this was going a bit crazy before so let me just clear that we'll go back into session view and so this top one here this note is just going to loop round on a C so if we go back to freestyling see every time it goes back to the beginning it's it's picking it up here so what we do is we click on learn and you can see it's now it's appeared in there so it's now learned that note so what will happen is every time we have a C note played within Ableton Live it's going to tell the light to change color so if you just look over on the webcam if I leave that playing hopefully you can see every time it hits there that light over in that corner over here is changing color it's basically it's just going to the next color Go back into Freestyler. If we look here, we can see it's changing. It's just going to the next color each time. But what happens is it leaves the last one on, so we get a nice mix of colors. It seems to be a little bit random. Um, so I've not worked out exactly why, but it looks pretty cool. The other thing to remember is because we're basically go doing note on, note off messages. So note on, the velocity is set at 127. If you leave that at that, you need to make sure that your note within Ableton is a 127 velocity if that was turned down okay if I turn that down okay you can see that now the light stopped changing color it has to be at 127 or lower your velocity for a note in within freestyler okay it's up to you whichever way around you want to do it um, okay so let's just stop that and we'll go back to a range view so now you've got to make sure for these to go in time Obviously, we need the tracks to be warped within Ableton, so it's all nicely li lined up on the grid uh, with the metronome. And 
basically I just put these notes in for that light and also I'm going to put the moonbeam on in a second just to sort of as a basic idea just to flash in time with the track so if I bring that up down the bottom let's just get that all as one clip okay and I'll play it in bits so we're not listening to too much of the track in one go and hopefully if you can, you'll see the light flashing in time with these notes here which I've basically programmed in time with the drum hits within the track <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you get the idea and see what that looks like. Um, I'm just going to bring in the moon glow as well because I've got that programmed on. Let's just make sure that's turned on. And then we need to make sure we're selecting all the lights that we're playing, that we want to play for this sequence. So the moon glow, you can see if it goes light blue, there is, is uh, selected. If we click on another one, that original one will go red, and that means those two are selected. The dark blue one isn't selected. Uh, and leave that on there for now. Uh, so what I've done later on in the track, when it kind of kicks in a little bit more here. Okay, this note, let's just scroll along to where that is. Um, okay, those lights are going crazy, but we'll go back to that in a second. Uh, so C sharp 3 here, I've mapped to the next gobo. So that's basically just going to scroll through uh, the different motors on the moonbeam that will change the lighting in that. So I'll just play a little bit of the track from there, just so you can see it with everything going. Okay, so hopefully you can see if you want lights to flash on and off at a specific time and a specific place within a song and with that specific rhythm, it's quite a cool way of doing it without spending a lot of cash. Um, basically, what I the equipment I'm doing to use this is I got this thing off Amazon, um, which was £13.69. Okay, so it's just a USB to DMX interface, so that's going into my uh, computer. Um, that plugs then directly into my first fixture, which is the Moonbeam, and then I'm just taking the DMX out into my second fixture. Um, and then you set that up within here, uh, and it's, it comes up, there's loads of actually supported interfaces within here. This one comes up as the UDMX. Uh, it, it took a little bit of while to get it actually installed for some reason on my computer because there was some weird thing with digital signature things, but it, it was fairly easy to do once we'd, I'd got over that. Um, and that then gives us control over all the, all the lights. So basically, instead of spending 200 quid on uh, a DMX box, I spent £13 on that, which, happy days. Um, so... I just did the the the, um, the party bar. Okay, the cam party bar has four separate lights on it, four separate par cams basically, uh, and you can control these. I've not got this plugged in, but you can control these separately off here. So what we could do, and looking at the uh, the MIDI to DMX section, is if, for example, on that bit on the Prodigy where you get the da 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 da, -da kind of drum beat going, we might want each of these to flash separately so what we could do is we could send signals to each of these by mapping these in this bit so i'll just talk you through this bit so again it's on midi control so if i want them just to flash obviously if i wanted to just to be random and go to the next color they would all flash on using this but if we want to just address individual lights we can do it down here on this bit and this is basically kind of what the dmx this thing does so we've got midi to dmx and we've got 24 i'm not sure if we can add any more than that I think it would be cool if, if anybody knows if you can add more than that, then let me know because that would be really cool to uh, 
uh, to be able to do that. Um, so I've mapped out notes here um, to certain DMX channels. So if we look at, so for example, the first light here is this one here, which I, if I want that to turn on um, as, as red. Um, so we would need to work out, I think which one it is, I believe it's that, because that's got seven channels, so that's eight, nine, ten, yeah, so that one is on DMX channel 11, um, which, for some reason I've not got mapped on here, um, not got my reds mapped for some reason, but anyway, let's start at this one, okay, so this one would be channel 12, okay, so this is channel 12, so that is green. Um, and I've got that mapped to, I can't remember which note it is now. I think if I remember right, remember rightly, this was channel 11 and this was the C sharp two was channel 12. So if I wanted that green light, just that first green light on its own to flash, I would just need to stick a MIDI note in there, do the mapping as we did before with it in here with the learn button. And then every time that note appears again making sure it's at a velocity of 127 that first green light would flash on so if i wanted to do four in a row and kind of do one two three four so one that one that one that one that one one after the other all we'd need to do is map them accordingly and it'd go something like that so that would be my first green light the second green light the third green light the fourth green light and they would then sort of chase along one after the other and you can keep repeating that and obviously do any sequences that you want um, within these all you've got to do is work out your DMX channel basically as to which which channel does which um, Which bit of your lighting and it depends on your lighting fixture uh, if I was doing it on the, uh, the The basic little park cam thing. This has got four channels So I would need to map the red to I think that's on something like channel 24 That's channel 25 and that's channel 26 So all I got to do is use one of these MIDI to DMX slots doesn't matter which one you use you just put your, there, I've got it done in here, look. So this one here is 24, that would turn on uh, the red light, that would turn on the green light, and that would turn on the blue light on that par cam, based on when I put notes in Ableton. Pressed on the wrong button, get rid of that. Um, there's one, okay, on these. So, like I say, it's basically, it's just like programming drums, programming MIDI notes, I guess you could also do an instrument rack, um, rather than having um, all these and you could name them, uh, which actually, give me a minute, I'll have a go at that and see if that works, I'll be back in a second. Um, probably not, there's probably a way of doing it, but I've not got time to figure it out now. What I was wanting to do is name these, um, so it was like red, green and blue, which I'm guessing there should be some way of doing it. I'll try and do that, if I can work that out for another video I will do that, because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, Hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions or any suggestions on how we can improve on what I've done here, uh, then leave me some uh, comments in the box below the video. Um, like I say, I, don't, I couldn't find anything else anywhere on YouTube that explained how to do this or any good instructions. I just sort of stumbled across it by sitting for hours this week playing with the, with the, uh, with the software. So, hope that's of use to you. Uh, Please like the video, subscribe uh, if you wish to see more tutorials and check out some of my electronic music. And thanks for watching.